Section 3, Abolution, or Wudu. Sayyid Ibn Zaid said, Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be on him, said that man has not performed abolition who does not remember Allah in doing it. Yahya al Mazini reported that a man said to Abdullah ibn Zaid, Canst thou show me how the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, performed abolitions? Abdullah ibn Zaid said, Yes. So he sent for water and poured it over his hands and washed his hands twice. Then he rinsed his mouth and snuffed water into his nose thrice. Then he washed his face thrice. Then he washed his hands up to the elbow twice. And then he wiped his head with both hands so that he carried them from the front and brought them back. He began with his forehead until he carried them to his neck. And then he brought them back to the place from which he had started and then washed his two hand feet. And let it be noted that if any of these things is done once, it's sufficient. Um, but you want to make sure if they've been fully done once. But you can do them a few times a piece. But don't, you know, don't go through a tub worth of water to get ablutions, you know. Ibn Abbas said, the prophet, peace and blessings of law be upon him, performed ablution, watching each part once only. Abdallah ibn Zaid reported that the prophet, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him performed evolution, watching each part twice. It is reported about Uthman that he performed evolution at Maqa'id and said, May I not show you the evolution of the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him? And he performed evolution watching, washing each part thrice. Aisha said, The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was fond of beginning on the right side in putting on his shoes and in combining his hair and in performing his evolution, in fact, in all his actions, Abu Huraira said, the messenger of law, peace and blessings of law be upon him, said, when he put on clothes and when he perform evolution, begin with the right side. Ibn Abbas reported that the prophet, peace and blessings of law be upon him, wiped his head, and also his two ears, the internal parts of them with his two forefingers, and the back parts of them with his two thumbs. Amr ibn Amaya said, I saw the prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, passing his hands over his turban and his boots. Mungira said, I was with the prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in a journey, and I bent down to take off his boots, but he said, leave them alone for I put them on as a state of cleanliness. Then he passed his hands over them both. Mangara said, the prophet, peace and blessings of law be upon him, performed ablution and passed his hands over the socks and shoe, the shoes. Abu Bakra reported on the authority of the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, that he allowed one who was journeying three days and three nights and one who is not on a journey one day and one night to wipe his boots instead of washing his feet when he had put them on in a state of cleanliness. And by boots, sandals are can be included too, but not just uh, the tongue shower sandals, but a more substantial sandal, like, like with a strap over the top or something. Um, Abu Herrera said, the messenger of law, peace and blessings of law be upon him, said, Prayer is not accepted to the man. He avoids himself until he performs evolution. Anas said, the prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He used to perform evolution at every prayer. I, his disciple, said, how did you act? He said, evolution sufficed one of us until he avoided himself. Anas said, the companions of the prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, used to wait for the night, the shah, prayer, until their heads nodded in drowsiness. Then they said their prayers and did not perform evolution. You know, you don't have to perform a fresh evolution for every prayer, just when you've lost evolutions. Ebenabas said, 
the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Abolition is necessary for him who sleeps, reclining, for when he reclines, his joints are relaxed. Abu Darda reported that, the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, vomited and performed ablution. It is related about Ibn Umar that he washed his feet after, after the water, with which he had washed other parts and dried up. Amar said, the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, anyone who performs evolution and does it thoroughly, then says, I bear witness that there's no God but God. He is the one, there's no associate with him, and that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. How do you say that? Um, Ashadu in la ilaha illallah, wahdahu, la sharika lahu, walahumuku. Muhammad Abduhu Barasulu. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if that. Uh, oh, Allah, make me one of those who turn to thee again and again, and make me of those who purify themselves. The eight doors of paradise are open to him, and he enters by it, whichever of them he pleases. You know, those who say uh, to purifies. Um, not sure how that goes with that one. Sure, those, those, those.